Hello and welcome. This short video will introduce you to the E-band technology. E-band is actually a part of the electromagnetic uh, spectrum which extends from 60 to 90 gigahertz. But for microwave applications, we are considering the ITU channel arrangement, which ranges from 71 to 76 and from 81 to 86 gigahertz. As you can see, it's divided in 19 channels, each 250 megahertz wide. So if you compare this to traditional frequency bands, you will see we have a huge amount of spectrum available. It's all of 10 gigahertz and it uh, has a very low utilization rate today. And uh, each channel that we can use is uh, up to five times as big or 10 times bigger than what we are used uh, to have uh, in lower frequencies. So this frequency band is a big bonus to uh, service operators. So what are the capacities? What are the performances? What are the link lengths that we can achieve in E-band? We show here in this slide a simple calculation of uh, uh, the link length that you can achieve at different modulations given the availability target. We have a range of attainable link lengths which is for five nines between 1.5 and 2.5 kilometers and we are talking of capacities starting from 1 gigabit per second up to 2.5 gigabit per second. And if uh, we allow a lower availability target like uh, 99.995, this range goes up between 2.5 and 3.5 kilometers. So let's now consider for which applications is E-band particularly well suited. The first is supplement and complement to fiber. And this is thanks to the very high capacity we can reach. So if, for example, we combine two channels of 250 megahertz, like we've seen, we can reach easily 2.5 gigabit per second capacity. We can combine two polarizations going up to 5 gigabit. And this means that every time we don't have the fiber or the fiber network doesn't reach exactly where we need it, we can complement it and even substitute it in some areas with eBay. Second major application is related to mobile backhaul. We know that with the advent of 3G, HS, HSPS Plus, uh, and especially LTE, backhaul capacities have escalated. So there is a lot of installed microwave, which today is no longer able to support the required capacity. So the second application of E-Band is actually substitution of legacy microwave uh, networks. Third application is actually uh, solving the spectrum congestion problem. We know that uh, especially in urban areas and suburban areas, the spectrum is running out. So not only do we have an additional 10 gigahertz available, but we can easily uh, achieve very high capacity and very high density. So the next big uh, uh, application of E-band is small cell backhaul. So summarizing, we have seen that E-band provides 10 gigahertz of new spectrum that we can exploit for microwave transmission, which is very, very much needed today that we are increasing network capacity, both fixed and mobile networks by tenfold. Uh, compared to just a few years ago. And we have seen that we can achieve gigabit per second performance over link lengths of, let's say, one to three kilometers. And we have seen that we can plan a very, very dense network thanks to the pencil beam characteristic of even propagation. Thank you very much for your attention.